What's up guys? I'm Bullvar the Fell Handed and this is Art of the Hellcat Part 13. We are low tier in a high tier lobby, two tier split. We are in tier 8, swimming with the sharks. This is the very definition of swimming with the sharks. You have to be very cautious because these tanks can knock out your lights. So you have to be extremely cautious, especially in an open top tank destroyer. Because, you know, if Artie happens to catch you slipping, he's going to put a hole in one. And, you know, you're going to you're gonna go home sad, back to the garage sad, because you're going to get one-shotted. So, moving on, you know, we don't want that to happen. The idea here is, is we're going left flank, and we want to set in the back. We want to snipe. We want to not get spotted. We don't even want the reds to know we're there. We want to do exactly what tank destroyers typically tend to do which is stay outside of maximum view range, which is 445 meters. So that's what I'm looking to do. That's what I want to do. I'm going to try to pull up here and get some shots early on in the game and see if, you know, we can't start making a difference. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, hey, you know, how much of a difference can a Tier 6 make in a Tier 8 game? Well, you know, very rarely you see these... these low tier tanks just come in here and completely clean house it happens yes it does but not very often we don't really want to make a difference we just want to make an effort and an effort we shall make the thing is you know if you're out there and you're doing things and you're spotting and, and you're running around and you're clipping people out the squeaky wheel gets the grease you know you're gonna get zeroed in and it's gonna be easier for these guys to shut you down so you know there's a time and a place for everything and in this particular time in this particular place I feel that keeping a very low profile is the best way to go and that's you know that's what we're doing granted we're not out there you know just making things happen right off the jump we're just kinda of seeing what happens with the game at this point, we're just kind of posted up. We're waiting for them to expose themselves so we can get a shot in. We are detected. We are six cents, so I'm a little wary. An already round's going to come in, but at the same time, I'm kind of hoping they may be focused on the C8 area, which is you know around that area is typically where they can hit if you know their enemy is down that alley. So I'm not too concerned about Artie right at this particular moment. We are going to go ahead and switch flanks. We're not getting a lot of action over there. So we're switching flanks. We're going to see if anything's going on over here. Shots kind of dried up on the other side. Couldn't really get a lot of action in. People not really pulling up, letting us get good shots. Not really, you know, even getting bad shots. So we're going to see if we can't put around in here. We were successful. Ended up taking that guy off the board. One less piece of the puzzle there we have to mess with. So I'm being very cautious because, you know, at this time, you know, anything could happen. Put a round there in the side of the T-29. Very lucky we did not take a round. Going to try to just, you know, put some work in on these guys. They are focused on larger tanks that are more of a threat than little old me. So I'm just going to try to pull out. And do a little work on them. Just see what happens. T29 is looking at me there. Tried to get away. Took a round from the VK. So, you know, things are going okay for us. You know, we've got good shots there. Tried to make a little bit of a clutch shot. Wasn't quite aimed in as much as we should have been. But at the same time, sometimes you need to do that. Sometimes it's either take damage or risk a, a wild shot. And that's what we did. And, it, you know, it wasn't perfect. But at the same time, it could have very well hit. So we're going to try to put a round in this guy as he's leaving. We managed to stick one in him. And we're going back to our little area. This is essentially, we're just working the side of this building. Not a lot going on, so, you know, we decided to go ahead and move up here in advance. There's not but four guys left. One of them's artillery. So, you know, at this point, you can be fairly confident where everyone is on the map. Try to make a clutch shot there. Not even a clutch shot, just a snapshot. Guy put it right in the back of the turret. You know, that happens to the best of us. People pull up. They don't mean to, or maybe they do. You know, what are you going to do? So, you know, we're doing all right. You know, we're, we're moving on. And, you know, K-29 
keep in mind, we're two tiers down. So, you know, it, it's amazing for us just to be alive and running at this point. So we're going to see if we can't come out here, put a round on this guy. Took one in the side. The idea here is, you know, we just going to have to get behind him. I go ahead and put a straight 90 in the side of his armor there. That was more or less a guaranteed pin, and I'm on a 6 right now. I'm just going to put another one in. So the T-28 is more or less done for. Now we are on the look for Artie. We're going to see if we can't find Artie, lock him down, find out where everything's at. Now, I will tell you at this time, I do fast forward this video quite a bit because we drove around as a team for a long time looking for artillery. You know those little holes in the little behind a hill but you can't get LOS and, and he doesn't spot you so it doesn't send off your sixth sense? That's exactly what was happening here. So, you know, for the next, you know, minute in 10, 10, 20 odd seconds, we just drive around not seeing him. I kind of had a good idea where he was at. I thought that maybe we missed him when we came on this side originally. Maybe he was in a corner or something. And, you know, that I would kind of come over here and just clear the area. But, you know, unlucky for me, I didn't catch him. <laughs> but, you know, he could have easily just been backed up in a corner. At any rate, guys, we did okay. We did 2,047 damage in a Tier 8 game. I consider that a win. Guys, please remember to like, subscribe, and share.